So SIUC has been awarded the Queen's Anniversary Prize for its outstanding work on animal health and welfare conducted by a vet services team. This is the highest accolade that a UK university or college can receive. It's in part of the nomination system and it represents a significant award for SIUC for its outstanding contribution to animal health and welfare. It reflects the, the work of perhaps some of our unsung heroes, our researchers and technicians and scientists who committed themselves uh, to uh, safeguarding animal health and welfare. This is the second time that SIUC has been awarded the Queen's Anniversary Prize. We awarded the Queen's Anniversary Prize in 2017 for outstanding work on ruminant genetics and dairy cattle. This represented um, work being conducted on the Lang Hill uh, herd. This is the longest running cattle breeding experiment in the world. And the Queen's Anniversary Prize was awarded for that long standing biological experiment. And I guess the thing that connects the two awards that we've been received now over the past five years is the fact that these are not flash in the pan experiments. These are long term commitment to science and technology and innovation with application for the benefit of society. And that really runs through the two streams of these awards, both now in 2024 and previously in uh, 2017. The uh, work of our best services team is the largest effort in terms of supporting um, health schemes in the UK with over 7,300 subscribers. It is an outstanding example of translation of research. And these pioneers in animal health um, are being recognized through this award. For the vet services team, I think it's going to be really, really important to celebrate the success and build the confidence in the team. Again, as we start taking another step forward with the launch of our new vet school, which is tertiary and will be fully integrated with our vet services to provide added value to those vets that are going to be trained in our new vet school. It's important and significant for a number of reasons, not just the fact that it's the first vet school in over 150 years. It's the nature of that vet school, which has been designed to meet the needs of the food and drink um, industry, the needs of rural communities where there's a desperate shortage of vets. But secondly, the way in which we go about training vets and selecting vets to ensure that we have a really good gene pool of future vets that are going to be adapted for new farming systems living in remote and rural parts of Scotland, but supporting um, our livestock and our food and drink industry into the future. We're delighted about this award. It's great news for vet services. We provide diagnostics and advice, health scheme work, CPD, other outreach work, and support to researchers, both within SRUC and other organisations as well. So we have quite a broad impact. So the network includes post-mortem facilities and hubs elsewhere around the country. The facility here receives samples from across the UK and more widely, including from our network. The samples that are coming in and the diagnoses that are made from the samples within our network feed into disease surveillance for the Scottish Government, which is a very key factor of what Vet Services is about and also provides diagnostics and support to practices and farmers throughout the UK. And the advice that the, the Vet team can provide is key in assisting farmers in making decisions around diagnostics, around health planning and around maintaining disease freedom and reducing the impact of endemic disease in flocks and herds. One of the key things that's been set up is the ability to handle large volumes of samples. We can process a fair few, we can process up to three quarters of a million to a million samples per year. Scientists set up the ability to handle these with robotics, which reduce the costs, and it means that we can process uh, and get results for samples um, as quickly as possible, and um, get the answers back out. The guys in the molecular biology department were carrying out testing on behalf of the NHS during the COVID pandemic. Not only did they manage to 
be flexible enough to alter the work that they were doing to take on that work and support uh, the work of the NHS. They also set up pooled testing for them, which reduced the cost of the PCR testing that was being offered. The Premium Cattle Health Scheme is part of a game-changing approach to animal disease. It's a key example of a collaborative approach between industry and uh, veterinary science to produce a means of testing diagnosis within herds so that disease can be controlled to reduce the impact, reduce the costs, which also feeds into sustainability, uh, reducing the carbon footprint of enterprises as well. Mm -hmm.